What is going on guys, it's your boy Review Fanatic and I want to welcome you guys back to another video review and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class High Octane Bumblebee So if you guys enjoy this video, let's get Alrighty, to it Alrighty guys, so here we have Age of Extinction High Octane Bumblebee in his 1967 Camaro SS Now I must say, I'm a big fan of vintage cars and I'm a big fan of vintage Camaros and to have one in my collection is is awesome um, but here he is he's just a black he's just a regular black 1967 Camaro SS um, very unique um, coloration when it comes to Bumblebee um, usually we'd see him in the yellow um, yellow and then black stripes but it's a different it's a different looking um, you know, it's it's unique, I'm going to have to say. And I, I really like Bumblebee when he's in a black mode. Um, it's That sounds weird, but you know what I mean. Um, but the black is a very nice shiny black. It's not metallic or anything. It's more of a metal black. Um, but it's really nice. He has two Autobot symbols on either side. They're yellow. He has a yellow stripe here on the bumper. And on the spoiler, he has yellow. So there's not much yellow in this, but I think it's significant to just to just stand out a bit. And yeah, so here for comparison, here he is with um, his is a uh, counterpart, which is the Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee. And let me just bring this up a bit so I can show you um, size <laughs> size difference. This Bumblebee is massive. This one right is massive. Um, so far, these toys from Dark of the Moon. Since Dark of the Moon, these toys have been going to shorter scale and price coming up. Um, which is not good, but you know, they need to make money and make it more simplified. Um, but yeah, as you can see, obviously this, this Bumblebee is a lot taller. They are the same width, I must say, as for height. Height, mm, I think they're just about the same. But yeah, it's very, you can tell that he's small just by looking at it from this angle. But yeah, let's take him away. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. These Age of Extinction toys have been going really simplified. But I'm not, don't really mind. They need to, you know, Hasbro are trying to go for a younger audience. But you know, it's, it's alright. But yeah. Now, without further ado, let's head on to the transformation. Okie dokie. Now, the first thing that you guys want to do is you want to bring the spoiler down just like that. Um, just bring it down like that. Then, you want to do um, bring the doors out. And let me just warn you that the transformation for every sing for most movie Bumblebee is made the, the same thing. Most of the time, it's, it's so similar that it's just like they're twins. But yeah, next thing that you want to do is you just want to bring this, um, the wheels out like so. And then what you want to do is you want to come back here is you want to split this, um, like that. And then what you want to do, just split it down like that. Just bring it down. Then you want to bring up the hood. Oopsie daisy. This gets a little bit fiddly. But bring up the hood like so. And then you want to straighten out the legs like that. And then you want to unpeg this and bring out the foot fully and then bring it forward like that. And it secures in very nicely. Same thing on the other side. Stretch out the legs. Bring this piece down. There you go. And stretch out the foot. But yeah. Um, next thing you want to do is just to get it out of the way. You want to bring this roof bit like so um, then what you want to do is you want to bring these forward unpeg this you want to um, turn them 90 degrees so they're facing this way and you just want to bring it out like that okay and then you just got a weird ass looking bumblebee but it's all about to change my friends anyways so the next thing that you want to do is you want to bring this piece down. Now, as you br as you can see, as you bring this piece down, the hood of the car does split into two, um, which is a really nice little mechanism. And then you just want to bring these down like that. Just bring up the head. And then what you want to do is you want to split this 
and you there's two pegs right here I don't know if you can see it there's two pegs right here that will peg into this slot right here so you want to put it in an angle and make sure that they peg together one usually pegs before the other but then once you get it right you have both of them pegged in like that and then just bring these down and then what you want to do is just you know bring turn the arms around like this and bring them down like that it's on a very heavy ratchet joint but it puts it into place very nicely like this Ugh. okay and there you have high octane bumblebee in his robot mode and while I have to say this is very unique, I can still see the similarities in these modes. I'm, uh, you know, you've got the back of the car turns the legs, the front of the car becomes the body part of Bumblebee. It's very similar, but this is a unique Bumblebee. This is a very unique Bumblebee. Um, until until the classic Camaro Bumblebee comes out. I'm gonna have to say that this is the most unique Bumblebee that we've ever gotten. Um, I, I mean, you've you've really got something a little bit different here. Um, you don't you have the, just the back of the car just, just put onto there like that. Um, you got this huge thing. I really don't know what this is, but you know, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I like this Bumblebee. I'm you know I'm I have this relationship with this Bumblebee where it's like. You know, it's a good figure, but I mean, the paint is just wow. But yeah, let's just bring comparison with another Bumblebee, which is the Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee that I showed you last time. Oopsie. And like I said, size difference, ugh, massive difference. I mean, look at this. You can tell that this Bumblebee is a lot bulkier. This one's really skinny. Um, the head, you can just see by the head that this head is a lot bigger, it's like a football, this one's like a, uh, I don't know, like a tiny, tiny size 2 football, <laughs> if, you, if you guys know what I'm talking about, but like I said, it has the same components as every, every other bumblebee, Oop. front of the car, back of the car, the doors, Yes, the doors and the wheels. It's different, but it's still the same concept. But, yeah, and the head sculpt, you know, you can't even talk about that. It's literally the same thing. Um, but, yeah, like I said, everything is the same here. Except for the fact that, you know, Bumblebee's black and he's yellow. Anyways, but, yeah, guys, that's really much all there is to say. Um, Articulation-wise, you know, he's got bowl jointed um head really tight ratchet joints here and on the elbow um but it can, it has a good range of movement this figure i i must say um no waist joint i could have wished that they could have added that but you know it's very limited in their engineering um knees i mean thighs you can go forward and back um side side to side not too far though um weight um thigh joint and i fear that the thigh is the knee joint is just too high up i mean i know that they have to do that transformation bit but couldn't you make the feet smaller and this knee cap you know a lot like down here because it's really high i mean if you look at this that's just really high but yeah it does have a quite limited range of movement on the, on the knee there and obviously it's got some pivot there but that's more the transformation but you can still use it as a pivot joint on the on the feet so i have to say that the articulation for this guy is good on the upper body but the down here is really letting letting it down but yeah guys that's all there is to say i hope you guys enjoyed this video please stay tuned for uh then my next review which is gonna be of scorn and yeah so please comment rate subscribe um and i'll see you guys next time till all i want